Saturday, July 1st, 1.34 p.m. I'm in a four-hour Uber heading to Northern Michigan when I get a text from my good friend D'Angelo Russell. Lakers deal is done. So we back to LA? Yeah, I'm gonna call in a sec. D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell. Russell. The Lakers bringing back D'Angelo Russell. Last year, D got traded to the Lakers with 26 games left in the season. The new squad finished 17 and nine, taking them from the 13th seed all the way to the playoffs where they would wind up losing to the eventual champs, the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers re-signing some key guys and adding some pieces. There's talk that the Lakers are gearing up for another run. But you probably already knew all that. Why in the world is D'Angelo Russell texting me about free agency? My name is Logan, and I've been capturing moments with D'Lo for five years now. What started off as being a videographer for an NBA player has turned into friendships and opportunities that have taken me all over the world. Experiences that have shaped my life forever. And one thing that life behind the curtain has taught me is that it moves fast. Day one, he made it in three days travel. It's 12.08 in the morning. The link said get in the gym. <laughs> Proud of you, brother. Yo, welcome to Camp D-Lo 2023. Y'all know what it is. We back at it with it. Tune in. Camp has gotten bigger and better every year. This year, Obi Toppin pulled up, and so did Book. My boy D-Lo, that's where the kids, man. All the smiles you can put on everybody's face out here. A little of a legend, man. This year's camp hit me a little bit different than the first two. Year one, I was back and forth to the NBA Finals, and that in itself was insane. But last year, I was moving out of my old spot in Northern Kentucky, which was closing a chapter in my life. This year, it was just camp, camp and training. But what made this year even crazier was you guys, people like you who are watching this, coming up to me telling me I changed their life, I inspired them to quit their jobs, or I gave them dreams they never knew existed. The travel plans got messed up. They said we've got a flight for you. It puts everything in perspective, how big this whole Link the World thing has gotten, and honestly inspires the vision on where we can take this thing. To some it may sound crazy, to others it may sound like nothing, but to me, it all started as a kid from Friendship, Indiana, so it'll never stop being crazy to me, and I like it that way. Being from Indiana, it makes trips like the one after camp feel like a life reset. See, after camp, I found myself somewhere in Northern Michigan, after a pretty exotic way to get there. Life has gotten crazy, I say it all the time, but it's always the moments of getting away and slowing down that I appreciate the most. See, to me, there's this yin and yang to this whole life, the hustle and the grind to the kick your feet up and chill. It's a balance I love, honestly, especially when you surround yourself with people that radiate good energy. And it's not they help bring out the best in you, it's they appreciate you for just being you. And it's a special kind of feeling once you understand what it feels like. To be able to just show up and everyone is on the same wave of just having fun, kind of reminds me of that freedom you felt as a kid when nothing else mattered but just right now. After Michigan, it was right back to the grind. We're in LA getting work in, and that's really what the off season is. Behind the scenes, we're in the gym getting work in. Like after LA, we went to the Bahamas on a little basketball getaway. We gotta take the boat out, see some pigs on an island, and you know we found some time for golf. Still golf. Back at it again. Another eventful night, back at it this morning. But it was mostly 5 a.m. runs, 6 a.m. workouts, and 7 a.m. time on the court. Got here at 5 a.m. It's kind of like 6 to 1, about to head to get some weights in. Shout out to the Bahamas, man. Get it in. See, this summer I challenged myself to slow down and really grasp what it means to be where my feet are. This summer has been one thing right after the other. Honestly, kind of how these past few years have been which is a blessing, do not get me wrong, but you blink and you're on to the next thing. Tell the camera your excuse. Yeah, my excuse is my legs are fried. How many of those do you have? I have one. Excuse me? Yeah. So I really challenge myself to be present and appreciate what's right in front of me. Not just the fun moments, but the difficult ones that people don't get to see. I want to stop worrying about what's ahead and just enjoy where I'm at. See, we've came a long way with this whole thing, and I'm so blessed to be able to do the things I do with my friends. And making videos like this to watch back inspires me to keep growing into the best version of me that I can be. So I hope somehow this inspires you. Until next time.